Thanks for being on the show. You're very. Uh, <laughs> You're, you're a natural. You're oh, a natural. You're scaring me. Look, this is, there is anything you cannot do, Garth Brooks. We've been friends a long, long time, but I must tell you, the tables now have turned. Oh, that's right. Oh. And all I can—I'll tell you what. When this interview's over, all I hope is you feel as good as I do every time I get to talk to you, man. You are a friend to me. Oh. I love you to pieces. I always feel good. Always feel good. Bring it. Come on now. Don't don't hold back. Bring it. <laughs> well, the first thing I have to ask, I think, is the obvious one. Just how has been covering the news or the election mostly this year? What's uh, it, are you glad it's over? Is it over? Where are we at? Man, you came out with a fastball. I thought it was a softball to begin with. Through the heat, bringing the heat. No, that's a fair question. You know, you know me very well, Garth. We go back to the '90s, and I'm an eternal optimist. I always like to define and to see the good and and everything and everybody this has been a challenging year uh, all the way around and for everybody and um the election included and what i try to do is just be a source of information and a source of comfort as well to just let people know that this too shall pass amen very good yeah so since you are the eternal optimist can you tell me what one thing in the pandemic that you have seen that gives you hope? Or what's the, what's the silver lining that you see uh, going on right now? Well, the, the way that we're able to connect. You know, I don't like what we say about that we call it social distancing. No, we're physically distancing. Amen. But we've never been more socially connected. I mean, man, man you're Studio G. Amen. You have been connected with people. We have found a way, like right now. Um, so I just feel that people are, oh, boy, the creativity. People are being so creative and so helpful for one another. So there's always a, uh, you, uh, you have to find, try and find a silver lining in everything. Amen. And, and, you know, the people that are sincere, their warmth comes through. Whether you're sitting at this table or right now yeah. on the screen, and trust me, your warmth comes through. Okay, birthday girl. You got a big birthday girl come, uh, coming up here. You're turning, can I say it? God, you're so beautiful. <laughs> no. This is, should be a proud moment. You're turning <laughs> 60. How you feel about that? Uh, I own it. Um, yes, you my, my do friends, own it, girl. My friends say I'm turning, I'm turning six. Oh! <laughs> six, oh. <laughs> but, you know, having gone through cancer a couple of times, I am grateful to still be here and kicking. What was that song that you wrote? Uh, I'm, I'm too young to feel this <laughs> old. Uh, yeah, remember that? Yeah, that's, they did. And that's how I feel. But I'm very grateful. Very cool. I, 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 I got to tell you, happy birthday. Enjoy it. And another big uh, uh, kind of celebration. You know, Trish and I are celebrating our 15th uh, this month, right? Yeah. Coming up month. Yeah. Now, you and Amber celebrated 15 years in the summer, I believe, if that's correct. Can you tell, me, right. can you tell me how you guys met? Well, uh, we met on a blind date, one that we both tried to cancel several times. But finally, we did meet on this blind date. And we had our mutual friends that are there with us. And I told my friend, I'll kick you under the table because we were just going to be for drinks. I'll kick you under the table if I wanted to stay for dinner. <laughs> About 10 minutes in, I kicked him under the table and said, yeah, she can stay for dinner. And we've been together virtually oh. ever since. And to be able to survive being, you know, sheltering in place for six, almost seven months, she was my uh, producer and, and lighting director and camera person and all of that. So to be able to survive that, uh, it was the most time we had spent in the 15 years we've had together. Oh, very sweet. But I wish right. you could cook like, like Trisha, though. You know, Honey. that's the one thing. It, it, I, you know, I'm you warning you right now. Eating. What's that? You've been doing a lot of eating and you're sheltering in place. Is, is that an observation that's right now? No, that's a show. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, let me try this. <laughs> that better? My God. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky. I mean, the queen, the queen is one of the greatest cooks ever. And uh, so, yeah, when you talk about 2020, put those two together, 40, that's about right. That's how much I've gained in, in this year. So, uh, but so, so Looking happy good. to see you guys back in the studio. Are you happy to be back in the studio? Did you like it at home? Or what, what's, which one? No, it was, you know what, it was, I have a new appreciation, an additional appreciation for people who work from home. Now, let's face it, those of us who didn't forever, 
we thought, oh, the people got it easy, working at home, oh, this is this. No, it is not a piece of cake at all. But I was so grateful that I was able to still communicate and still do. And my neighbors got a big kick. You know, Good Morning America coming out of the basement. <laughs> connect, they, were, they got a big kick out of that. Um, but it's good to be back. It's good to be back with, with uh, George and, and Michael and the whole gang in the studio like that. And just, again, just, just try to be you know, a sense of normalcy for people to see us all back together like that. Amen. And can I tell you what a gift that was and is to us. More with Robin Roberts right after this.